What is going on guys? It is Fortis here with another video on Fleet Command and today we're looking at uh, John Harrison. So this officer has recently come back to the game. He was excluded from the game uh, for being too powerful. So he has come back to the game and I'm just going to show you here John Harrison. So let's have a look here. Try and find him. So many officers that we have and don't have. Here he is, Harrison. So in Star Trek Fleet Command, here's Harrison. We don't have him yet. Let's take a look at his bio. Class Science, Group Section 31, Faction Federation. John Harrison is the identity the Section 31 placed on Khan's mind after they discovered after, after they discovered the Botany Bay. So basically, Khan is super powerful, and I'm gonna show you why now and why some people are actually after this officer. So take a look here, weapon designer. So this is his captain's ability, weapon designer. When fighting explorers, John Harrison increases the weapon damage of the ship by 20%. This is a huge captain ability uh, for PVP. So when fighting explorers, of course. So this is a huge PVP captain ability. And you're going to be go crazy at this secondary ability. So let's take a look at sabotage. Here it is. So for the first round of combat, John Harrison ignores 60% of the opponent's shield. First of all, I can't even believe it. Like the fact that the developers would introduce a, an ability like this into Star Trek Fleet Command, the ability to ignore 60% of the opponent's shield. And the fact is, if you can upgrade this officer, this 60% goes even higher. So, what you'll end up with, if you have this officer on your ship, you'll have an incredibly powerful PvP ship, which can basically ignore the shields um, in the first round of combat and take take out another ship, another player's ship. This is an incredible ability, and one of the reasons why uh, the developers are so eager to bring John Harrison from Section 31 back to Fleet Command, back to the Star Trek universe. Um, he was he was excluded for the longest time because he was considered too powerful. But now John Harrison is back and a lot of players are after him. So I'm going to show you now. Let's go back to the main screen here. Let's go back to this. And where am I going? Let's go to events. And I want to show you real quick. Right here, it says recruit John Harrison. This event ends in one day and 10 hours for me. I don't know which time zone you're in. I'm in the US Canada time zone. So let's take a look here. And it says view here. So before Khan, there was Harrison. Increase your might to win John Harrison shards. So the first uh, one to two players who succeed in this event will get 38 uh, John Harrison uh, shards. So this is incredible, and this is enough to um, upgrade John Harrison. So I'm going to show you now. Um, I'm not even. I'm not even ranked, but I'm going to show you what people are are spending to to get this officer because, as we know, he is so powerful against uh, in PvP. So let's take a look here. Look at this. We have, we still have one day, <laughs> one day and 10 hours left of the event. And people have gone to great lengths to, to receive this officer. 29 million is the highest so far. I'm sure this number is going to go up. 29 million points. I actually can't believe this. Like if you convert this to actual, actual money here in the real world, this is thousands, thousands of dollars, thousands of pounds people are spending to, to kind of unlock this officer. And it's, it's just absolutely crazy. First of all, that people would spend that much on an officer. Uh, the hype for this, for John Harrison is huge. And the fact that people are spending millions and millions of real world money is to me and to a lot of people out there absolutely crazy. 
should you do it? This is the biggest question. Should you as a player uh, spend to receive this officer, just to receive John Harrison um, in, in Star Trek Fleet Command? I believe you should absolutely not spend millions of points, thousands of dollars to receive John Harrison. It's absolutely not worth it. Guys, do not do this. Instead, reinvest that money. Don't invest in John Harrison, but instead invest in other offices. Invest in all of these offices because I'm telling you now, having a number of strong officers as opposed to as opposed to one strong officer is gonna make that is gonna make a huge difference to your game. So the fact is invest in a in a bunch of multiple officers and do not invest in John Harrison. I mean, guys, this game might not even be here in five years. I'll be highly surprised if Star Trek Fleet Command is running in five years. Why invest thousands of dollars, thousands of pounds into, into an officer which might not even be here in a couple of years. Instead, reinvest that money into a bunch of officers which you can use on your ships. Um, that is pretty much my kind of rant for today. But guys, um, thank you for subscribing and liking to my content. If you want to see future content on Star Trek Fleet Command or other games as well too, uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Guys, that is it for now. Don't forget, to, of course, to stay safe out there in the real world. Uh, we are in a second wave right now. It is the end of September. So guys, stay safe and I shall see you soon. All right, see you guys.